Okay, guys, let's grab a pair of dumbbells for the next bunch of exercises. All right, guys, we're going to do a chest press for this exercise. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So I'm going to grab my dumbbells and I'm just going to lie down. Now, I want to make sure my elbows are out. I, I'm into a T. I want to make sure I'm, I've got a perfect T going. And what we're going to do from here is press straight up and touch and then come back and just making sure it's a vertical push and I'm holding on to those 90 degree angles the whole time. Whether you want to rest your head or you want to keep it up is up to you. So they both work. I like to keep my head up because it keeps your core engaged as well, but it's up to you how you want to do it. Let's get you guys to have a go. Biceps curl, lateral raise combination for this one, you guys. Now you can see when I'm doing my biceps curl, my elbows are staying nice and stationary 
and my wrists are nice and straight as well. So just going from a neutral hand position to a pronated one right at the top. When I'm working my lateral raise, my elbows are remaining soft straight and my wrists are straight also. Your turn to try this one. some chest flies for this exercise. I want you guys to watch. So I'm going to set up and what I want to do from here, I want to make sure arms are nice and vertical and I'm going to drop out into a T but I'm keeping my arms soft straight the whole time. I'm going to finish once I hit that straight line. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to hyperextend. Watch me. So I don't want to go past here. If I go out there, too much pressure on the rotator cuffs, not enough on the chest. Okay. So I just want to Make sure I'm keeping it low impact, keeping it nice and safe, and just working the full range so it's my chest and triceps getting the workout in this one. Right there. Let's get you guys to have a go.
bending forward with bent knees and neutral spine for some piston rows. Now, you want to make sure you're pumping these out with your elbows tucked in by your side. You can see my feet are parallel, knees are right over the top, and I'm sustaining my back. Let's get you guys to do the same. work some traditional dumbbell pullovers with this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to hold an eyelet grip. So the way this works, if you're just watching my hands, it's just one hand um, sort of just inside that little thumb area and we're going to hold up um, one end of the dumbbell just like that. So I'm going to get into position. I'm going to start from a vertical line and I'm going to take it back to a horizontal line right there and pull straight back up. Now I want to make sure my arms are soft straight the whole time and I'm pushing directly behind me right there and pulling back in. Now I'm stabilizing with both feet 
nice and equal and just working a 90 degree range. So we should be just going working 90 degrees, drop it back and send it straight back up. Watch your wrist when you do this exercise as well. Your turn. skull crushers for this one guys this is one of my favorite dumbbells exercises and it's actually quite deceptive because when you look at it you think it's a triceps exercise but what's actually happening is the shoulders are remaining isometric throughout the exercise so the shoulders are active the whole time they're, they're going to really burn up by the end of the exercise but what you've got to make sure you do is keep those elbows out those elbows nice and still so you can see there's no movement in mine dumbbells are going to meet in the middle and then they're going to finish up in a y your turn to try this one.
Okay, guys, we're going to work some single arm rows for this one. So you can do one of two things. So you're going to set up with one knee, either on your mat or on your bench, and use your hand for support. I'm going to go straight leg with my other leg, okay? So this is giving me a nice solid base. And all I'm going to do from here is pull up to my ribs and drop it straight back down there, okay? Squeeze and get that stretch, just like that. I'm going to do this off both sides. 60 seconds on one side, 60 seconds on the other side. Your time. Alright guys, let's change sides. And let's keep going. Go. Alright guys, let's change sides. And let's keep going. Go.
front raise, lateral raise combination for the shoulders, guys. What we want to do is make sure you're, you've got soft straight arms throughout the whole set with this one. And I'm just alternating between those front raises and lateral raises. Keep your knees slightly bent or soft and um, just make sure you're protecting your back through this one. Try not to swing back and forth. Keep your wrists nice and straight. Your turn. Guys, we're going to work some circular shrugs for this one. So this is a relatively easy exercise. What you want to try and do, our arms are nice and straight. They're just hanging. My shoulders are nice and loose, okay? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift in a circle. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my shoulders as close to my ears as I can, okay? And just nice, circular, steady motion. Um, what you want to remember with this one, you want to make sure you're keeping your back nice and tight. And don't bend your elbows. There's none of there's none of that going on, okay? Elbows are staying nice and straight, and all the movement is coming from your traps and your rhomboids. It's not actually using your arms at all, okay? Your arms are simply there to hold onto the weights. That's all. Your turn.
Okay, guys, I've got a good shoulders exercise for you. All right, so this one's a little bit unusual. I want you guys to watch. I'm just going to do it without dumbbells for a second, and then we'll do it with some dumbbells. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to essentially replicate the movement you would have if you're using your pec deck, okay? And once I get to this point, I'm going to squeeze and lift up right there, okay? So work the pec deck and then squeeze up right at the top. Now, if I was to incorporate some weights into it, this is how it looks. So from here, I'm just going to go open, close, lift. Open, close, lift. Just like that. It's quite a difficult exercise. You guys will have fun for a minute. Let's do it. Okay guys, we're going to work some double bicep curls for this one. I want you guys to watch how I want to do it. So you're going to start off palm to palm this way, okay? I'm going to push straight up in front of me and as I come up, I'm going to twist 90 degrees. When you twist 90 degrees, that's when you're really getting into the peak of the biceps, okay? And then we're just going to return it nice and slow. So with my hands, with my weights uh, in place, I'm just going to go get that squeeze, get that twist and return it nice and steady just like that. I'm just making sure my elbows are not leaving my ribs, okay? So there's no forward push with the elbows. I'm just keeping them nice and stationary. Let's get you guys to try it.
well done for finishing your workout guys. Please take a few minutes to stretch and cool your body down now.